Madam State Regent, thank you for the privilege and honor to celebrate the accomplishments of your member training course graduates. Kansas has been doing just a fabulous job in promoting and encouraging new members, members, budding leaders, and current leaders in taking the members and the New Horizons courses. It shows with the number of wonderful graduates you have and the chapters that are working so hard to get 25% of their members graduated from the member training courses. Congratulations to Martha Vale chapter. Outstanding job hitting it out of the park in the first year on a three-year goal. So congratulations. I expect there's going to be many more chapters in Kansas. You have lit a fire and it is wonderful. It's due to your leadership, the encouragement of your chapter regents, and of course, your wonderful state coordinators, Jerry Kling and Pam Kelly. Thank you so much for this opportunity to say congratulations. And ladies, wear your cords with pride. Have a wonderful time and thanks again for this opportunity. Hello, I'm Jerry Kling, Kansas Members Course Coordinator. Welcome to the new members and members course graduation for those who completed the course between September 2019 and August 1st, 2020. We're here today to celebrate the achievement of 137 Kansas daughters who chose to take a course designed to educate members about DAR's rich history, mission, committees, website, local, state, and national meetings, Continental Congress, and more. Each graduate has completed an independent project in an area of interest, and all have been submitted to the DAR Vice Chair of Leadership Training, and their accomplishment entered into their personal record. The graduates range from new members who have not yet attended an in-person meeting to a member celebrating her 50-year membership in DAR. Graduates include the State Vice Regent, Rebecca Klein, State Committee Chairs, Regents, Chapter Officers, and members who are committed to learning about today's DAR and the Van Buren Administration. If you haven't taken the members course, I would encourage you to enroll and prepare to graduate at our upcoming state conference where State Regent Susan Metzger and I Look forward to bestowing the blue graduation cord and diplomas to our graduates. To kick off, we will celebrate graduates of the new member course of the Dillon administration. Alice Bashand, Nathan Edson Chapter. Alice's project was the Anna Laura Hill Statue Dedication in Concordia, Kansas. Gail Brumenkamp, John Athey Chapter. Gail took the 2019 DAR school bus tour to DAR and approved schools. Rebecca DeYoung Daniels, Quivira Crossing Chapter. Rebecca developed a Quivira Crossing Strictly Social Membership Campaign. Jan Goss. Sagamore Chapter. Jan led a member's course class for Sagamore Chapter. Renee Groom, Sagamore Chapter. Renee promoted the associate memberships in foreign chapters. Pat Hampel, Martha Vale Chapter. Pat contributed to the making of a quilt titled Midnight Over Kansas, to be donated to support the State Regents Project. Laura Kaiser, Shawnee Mission Chapter. Laura turned soft goods into cash to benefit the State Regents Project. Sherry Coster, Desire Toby Sears Chapter. 
Sherry designed a chapter quarterly newsletter. Rebecca Klein, Prairie Rose Chapter. Rebecca developed a program understanding DAR committees, what they are all about. Patricia Spencer, Shawnee Mission Chapter. Patricia developed a chapter program on the care and preservation of textiles. Melissa Stuklik, Mary Wade Strother Chapter. Melissa created postcards for chapters to use to invite potential members to their meetings. And now we celebrate the Members Course graduates, Van Buren Administration. Jacqueline Adams, Esther Lowry Chapter. Jacqueline made pandemic masks. Jacqueline Aaron, Sagamore Chapter. Jacqueline made a pamphlet identifying veterans lost in the Civil War, World War I, and World War II. Colleen Anderson, Council Oak Chapter. Colleen worked on the Patriot Records Project. Ashley Arnold, Mary Draper Chapter. Ashley made Veterans Honor Flight bracelets. Mary Ayers, Eunice Sterling Chapter. Mary created an Eunice Sterling external Facebook page. Teresa Bachman, Susanna French Putney Chapter. Teresa created a First Responders We Appreciate You program. Sue Bolu, Newton Chapter. Sue worked on the program Patriot Records. Connie Becker, Four Winds Chapter. Connie developed a booklet and book list for the JAC contest for her chapter. Phyllis Benedict, Three Trails West Chapter. Phyllis worked on the Patriot Records indexing. I believe she completed 3,000 plus records. Anne Gefford Beville, Quivera Crossing Chapter. Anne worked on Patriot Records project. Sandra Bone, Captain Jesse Leavenworth chapter. Sandra made pandemic masks for students. Laura Bond, Topeka chapter. Laura worked for the Kansas Historical Museum as a transcriber. Judith Brake, Sagamore chapter. Judith worked on Patriot Records Project. Manda Bricker, Three Trails West Chapter. Manda worked in the genealogy support and DAR membership assistance. Amy Brown, Mission Hills Chapter. Amy made pandemic masks. Barb Burke, John and Hattie Possum Chapter. Barb wrote a committee classroom lesson plan on the military branches. Jean Burke, Eunice Sterling Chapter. Jean created a robust 10-day travel tour to historic sites program. Barbara Bushnell, Esther Lowry Chapter. Barbara nominated a chapter member for the Community Service Award. Kimberly Camel, Mayor DeSean Chapter. Kimberly passed the DAR and DNA course. Patty Charlesworth, Three Trails West Chapter. Patty made pandemic masks. Anita Clark, Three Trails West Chapter. Anita made pandemic masks. D. Clark, Povera Crossing Chapter. D. made handmade scarves for the veterans and homeless. 
Andrea Coley, Eunice Sterling Chapter. Andrea developed a Getting to Know Your Chapter Members newsletter program. Joyce Colton, Topeka Chapter. Joyce made and presented Quilts of Valor to World War II veterans. Laura Cormack, Martha Vale Chapter. Laura renovated a World War II plaque at her church. Carol Crane, Sagamore Chapter. Carol made Christmas stockings and sent to deployed military. Carol Kaufman, John and Hattie Possum Chapter. Carol digitized her chapter yearbook. Diana Crouch, Courtney Spalding Chapter. Diana renovated and landscaped a community eyesore. Celia Dara, Mary Draper Chapter. Celia took and passed genealogy research and application one and two. Linda Davis, Topeka Chapter. Linda made a patriotic quilt and donated to a nursing facility to be used when a veteran dies to be placed over his body bag for transportation to a hearst. Sandy Davis, Olathe Chapter. Sandy worked on Patriot Records indexing. Susan DeCourcy, Mission Hills Chapter. Susan collected books from her neighborhood to donate to a library. Andy Noble, Polly Ogden Chapter. Anne worked on Patriot Records Project. Lily Rose Dollarhide, Arthur Barrett Chapter. Lily wrote thank you notes and made cookies for the Shangdehlem Airmen Lily is serving in the military in Germany and took the course while there. Monica Drilling, Courtney Spalding Chapter. Monica honored veterans by presenting a genealogy program for her Girl Scout troop. Danita Dapsloff, Oceanus Hopkins Chapter. Danita worked on the Patriot Records Project. Deborah Eves, Newton Chapter. Deborah gave a woman's program baby shower at the Robert J. Dull VA Medical Center. Lisa Eisler, Olathe Chapter. Lisa established policies and procedures for a food pantry where she volunteers. Susan Edelmaki, Arthur Barrett Chapter. Susan made pandemic masks for local healthcare facilities and hospitals. Linda Fort, Bird Pruitt Chapter. Linda studied BAS relief markers on the Santa Fe Trail and the artists and went to Lost Springs, Kansas to visit that marker. Patricia Foster, Topeka Chapter. Patricia created a process for herself and others to call members of the chapter who hadn't been attending meetings and identified their needs and encouraged them to attend. Jan Fowler, Mission Hills Chapter. Jan wrote letters of support and encouragement to state regents at the onset of the pandemic. Eileen McKegg, Three Trails West Chapter. Eileen collected donated items such as stereo equipment, DVDs, CDs, etc., for the annual sale supporting the Audio Readers Program at KU. Karen Fonchian, Eunice Sterling Chapter. Karen made three quilts of velar for three veterans. Leanna Graham, Olathe Chapter. Leanna made Valentines for Veterans. Gail Grape, Prairie Rose Chapter. Gail wrote a woman's 
issue essay on loss of a child and the effect on the family. Linda Gray, Prairie Flint Hills Chapter. Leonard, Linda honored retired Army officer Jay Stevenson's volunteer service to military veterans in their final hours. Marvin Gulker, Three Trails West Chapter. Marvin created a bingo party in a box for veterans. May Gully, John and Hattie Possum Chapter. May nominated Flo Minninger for the Women in History Award. Julia Handart, Jonathan Gilbert Chapter. Juanita made lap blankets for veterans and care home. Catherine Hannon, Eunice Sterling Chapter. Catherine reproduced by hand stitching the badge of military merit awarded at the end of the Revolutionary War, researched and wrote an article about it. Gail Hansen, Mission Hills Chapter, worked in the Patriot Records Project. Leslie Harris, Shawnee Mission Chapter. Leslie took the GEP DNA course. Jean Harrison, Kanza Chapter. Jean made pandemic masks for the homestead of Auburn and grandchildren. Rhea Hartley, Martha Loving Farrell Chapter. Rhea worked in the Patriot Records Project. Mona Harsler, Sagamore Chapter. Mona made survival kits for state conference pages. Lori Hatcliffe, Polly Ogden Chapter, researched and entered biographies into Find a Grave database. Joy Hayden, Good Land Chapter. Joy became a DAR correspondent docent for the State of Kansas paper. Michelle Griggs Heaton, Topeka Chapter. Michelle supported operations with the Coffee Bean of Life Project. Ruth Helstern, Three Trails West Chapter. Ruth made lap robes for veterans. Suzanne Helstern, Three Trails West Chapter. Suzanne restored the Austin Reader Family Cemetery. Corrine Hembry, Three Trails West Chapter. Corrine made Valentine's Day sweets for veterans. Anita Hempy, Three Trails West Chapter. Anita wrote a series of articles encouraging chapter members to take the members course. Kristen Honeycutt, Univale Chapter. Kristen had a fundraiser to benefit construction of a Reno County Veterans Memorial in South Hutchinson. Melanie Horton, Polly Ogden Chapter. Melanie submitted an application for Women in American History Award for Dr. Jana Fallon. Brenna Howe, James Ross Chapter. Brenna cleaned up Lincoln, Nebraska after the riots. Catherine Hubbard, Council Oak Chapter. Catherine knitted hats for veterans. Becky Hunter, Olathe Chapter. Becky returned lost documentation to another lineage society. Linda Jensen. Captain Jesse Leavenworth Chapter. Linda facilitated a supplemental Zoom workshop. Elizabeth Ann Jones, Eunice Sterling Chapter. Elizabeth worked on Wichita's Littlest Heroes Project, making capes for kids. 
Gay Jones, Eunice Sterling Chapter. Gay also worked on the Wichita Little as Heroes Project, making capes for kids. Jan V. Jones, Olathe Chapter. Jan developed a Getting to Know You monthly newsletter program for members to get to know one another better. Tanya Judd, Topeka Chapter. Tanya consolidated member information for the Topeka Chapter into one place. Mary Jo Jury. Mary Jo made pandemic masks. Susan Keith, Jonathan Gilbert Chapter. Susan wrote and submitted a lesson plan on Veterans Day. Rebecca Kellogg, Captain Jesse Leavenworth Chapter. Rebecca made pandemic masks for local schools. Christina Keeney, James Ross Chapter. Christina worked on the Patriot Records Project. Monet Kiesman, Three Trails West Chapter. Monet updated and revamped Three Trails West membership brochure. Lisa Klassen, Eunice Sterling Chapter. Lisa assisted veterans with their taxes. Barbara Knopke, Prairie Rose Chapter. Barbara created a Prairie Rose Facebook page. Kathy Laughlin, Mary Wade Strother. Kathy made pandemic masks. Kimberly Lees, Captain Jesse Leavenworth. Kimberly applied for a Welcome Home Grants for Veterans. Rhonda Limon, Council Oak Chapter. Rhonda recorded the location of predecessor's final resting place. Christine Markiewatka, Three Trails West Chapter. Christine made cards of joy and concern for a nursing home. Kalua Matun, Council Oak Chapter. Kalua's project, Clothing the Colonies, Fabrics and War, researched an article is worthy of being printed in the American Spirit Magazine. Ashley Mayer, Betty Washington Chapter. Ashley made blessing bottles for homeless veterans. Sharon McClure, Susanna French Putney Chapter. Sharon created a rise and shine through the Susanna French Putney program. Linda McFarlane, Little Arkansas Chapter. Linda worked to preserve a historic cemetery. Janice Miller, Olathe Chapter. Janice revised the CAR bylaws. Nancy Miller, Martha Loving Farrell Chapter. Nancy made a service-themed fleece blanket for Harry Hines Memorial Hospice. Reese Mobley, Shawnee Mission Chapter. Reese made beautiful cards for veterans who don't have visitors. Patricia Nickel, Shawnee Mission Chapter. Patricia located and learned about Santa Fe markers. Ann Ott, Desire Toby Sears Chapter. Ann's project was Veterans Interview for the Veterans History Project associated with the, Liber the Library of Congress. Jillian Pence, Sagamore Chapter. Jillian assembled and distributed packets for the Ability Groundhog Run. Liz Post, Topeka Chapter. Liz's project was newspaper bundling. Debbie Potter, Dodge City Chapter. Debbie created a DNA and genealogy PowerPoint program. 
Shirley Rasmussen, Esther Lowry Chapter. Shirley created a Facebook page for Esther Lowry Chapter. Lou Risley, Shawnee Mission Chapter. Lou had a DAR table at a National Genealogy Resource Fair. Dana Russell, Eunice Sterling Chapter. Dana cataloged records and artifacts at the Chisholm Trail Museum. Patricia Shell, Olathe Chapter. Patricia worked on the Patriot Records Project. Jerry Schrag, Newton Chapter. Jerry identified DAR graves in the Greenwich Cemetery in Newton, Kansas, and provided that information to the cemetery. Erlene Sells, Mission Hills Chapter. Erlene wrote a beautiful pamphlet on Agent Orange, the struggles Vietnam veterans face. Mary Ellen Seppel, Mission Hills Chapter. Mary Ellen worked on the Patriot Records Project. Anna Smith, Topeka Chapter. Anna taught history and patriotism through historical reenactment. Amy Spurgeon, Mary Draper Chapter. Amy taught her chapter to sign the Star Spangled Banner in sign exact language. Diana Stanton, Atchison Chapter. Diana updated the application retention system for Atchison Chapter. Sue Ellen Staub, Eunice Sterling Chapter. Sue Ellen honored a fallen Vietnam hero, Alan Barr, who was from her high school class. Linda Stevens, Shawnee Mission Chapter. Linda researched Santa Fe markers and visited the one in Lost Springs, Kansas. Betty Stottstill, Olathe Chapter. Betty worked on the Patriot Records Project. Beth Sternad, Desire Toby Sears Chapter. Beth worked on the Project Patriot Records. Mary Ann Tanking, Mary Wade Strother Chapter. Mary Ann made two lap robes for Soldiers Home and collected other needed items for them. Sharon T. Garden King, Arthur Barrett Chapter. Sharon knitted an Afghan for a veteran. Mary Lisa Toman, Nathan Edson Chapter. Mary nominated the POW Camp Concordia Preservation Society for the NSDAR Historic Preservation Award. Marcia Todd, Susanna French Putney Chapter. Marcia made pandemic mask. Diana Turner, Three Trails West Chapter. Diana nominated Osa Lightly Johnson for the Woman in History Award. Susan Turner, Topeka Chapter. Susan tended seven historic cemeteries on the Memorial Day weekend. Patty Enra, Newton Chapter. Patty had a Christmas bakeless bake sale to support her chapter. Jane Ward, Martha Vale Chapter. Jane contributed to the making of a quilt, Midnight Star Over Kansas, to be sold to support the state's Regents Project. Janet Weatherhog, Topeka Chapter. Janet developed a resource packet for ch chapter chaplains. Linda Welkner, Captain Jesse Leavenworth Chapter. 
Linda knitted hats for veterans. Nancy Williams, Polly Ogden Chapter. Nancy's project was a Vietnam War commemorandum in recognition of 46 Vietnam vets. Gail Williamson, Little Arkansas. Gail wrote an essay on Frances Willard entitled Firebrand of a Woman. Joyce Wilson, Shawnee Mission Chapter. Joyce took and passed GEP-1 and GEP-2. Phyllis Wersig, Martha Vale Chapter. Phyllis made flam sleeping mats for homeless. Jerry Winters, Eunice Sterling Chapter. Jerry organized and led a chapter's members course study group. Elizabeth Whittle, Topeka Chapter. Elizabeth worked on restoring and recording of the Wilson Cemetery. Congratulations to each graduate for taking the step to learn more about DAR and completing your goal. I hope and encourage you to continue the process with the New Horizons course. Great job, everyone. Thank you.